Damien Hirst is one of the most celebrated postmodern artists of today. He was born in 1964 in Bristol, England. Even as a child, he was fascinated with dark, morbid things. Here we see him smiling for a portrait next to a severed head at the morgue. He attended Goldsmiths College and was part of the Young British Artist Movement. He was first noticed when he organized the Freeze Exhibition in 1988. In his Natural History exhibit, he gained immediate attention for his focus on dead animals. Some of his most well-known pieces include Mother and Child Divided, The Acquired Inability to Escape, For the Love of God, Butterfly Paintings, and Shanghai. In his piece Mother and Child Divided, he uses a dead cow and her calf. The cow and calf are both dissected directly down the middle from head to tail. They are suspended in four clear boxes filled with formaldehyde. On one side, the cow and calf look perfectly normal. However, the view from the other side presents every organ in its place. The work makes a powerful statement about life and death and lures the viewer into deep thought. In his piece, The Acquired Inability to Escape, here again, Hearst uses a clear box to assemble objects and make a profound statement about contemporary society. Inside the box is a long table, a lighter, a pack of cigarettes, and an ashtray filled with cigarette butts. The objects suggest the presence of a human being and send a message of entrapment. Viewers are drawn to the scene and reflect upon its meaning. For some, it is a model of their own lives, lives locked into place by choices, good or bad. The whole scene is cold, sterile, and suggests an intense, stress-filled situation. Clearly, the absent person is present in the viewer's mind through Hearst's creation. For some, that person is the viewer themselves. For the Love of God is an amazing sculpture. It is the platinum casting of a human skull encrusted with 8,000 diamonds. Even the nose hole and the eye sockets are filled with diamonds. The teeth are actually the teeth in the original skull. In this work, Hearst is actually mocking the darkness of death by covering the skull in the brilliant sparkle created by the diamonds. Diamonds are formed by intense pressure. Maybe in a way, Hearst is commenting on the pressure of life and how those who endure reflect the light and the darkness that surround us. Butterfly paintings are just another of Hearst's amazing power to gather from reality and create something so unique it completely captivates the audience. Hearst enraged animal rights supporters by killing 9,000 butterflies to collect their wings in the creation of this piece. The effect is beautiful and psychedelic. The paintings look like the stained glass windows in Catholic churches. His intent was to capture the fragility of life and its iridescent beauty in both life and death. The association with churches also adds a sacredness that often leads the viewer into an appreciation for the spiritual side of humanity. In contrast to beautiful butterflies, Shanghai addresses the harsh reality of life and aggression. Shanghai utilizes scalpel blades, skin graft blades, stitching needles, aluminum fittings, and stainless steel pins. He paints an aerial view of a city in gloss paint on canvas. Then he arranges surgical instruments to give a bird's eye view of urban areas. These include rivers, roads, buildings, and other features of urban life. The pieces he utilizes play on the military term surgical strikes and surgical bombings. Clearly he's making a profound statement about man's inhumanity to man and his tendency to destroy all that is beautiful and good. Overall, Damien Hirst is an extremely talented, insightful artist who brings his audience into some deep thinking and profound realities. It is strange that such a morbid focus can actually address what is beautiful and valuable about life. His works not only intrigue the eye, but confound the soul.